What's going on guys, Kino Kills here, bringing you another chem strike strategy, but you can also use it for whatever you want, support, assault, specialist, chem, anything you want to use it for, go for it. It is on the map Octane, and it is on the game mode Blitz, because the spawns on Blitz are much like the spawns on Demolition in Black Ops 2. <clears throat> they stay in one spot. So... This is for the map Octane. It's really great. I found it the other day, playing with my friends, and I figured out that they spawn at this one point, and this is a good spot because I would get a lot of kills from it. Now, it takes me a little while to get into this spot because we are playing some tryhards. But once I do get in this spot, it is really good on both sides. I do have a spot on both spawns because, as you know, after the halfway point at eight points or time limit, it does switch sides. Now, uh, the first spot is over here in this club, at the strip club. Now, what you're going to want to do is come to the strip club and come to this back room over here. Now, it would help to have Amplify. You don't have to. If you don't have a headset, I'm not so sure if this is going to be such a great spot for you, but I have a headset. So, I've been using Amplify lately, and it's very, very good on this game because the footsteps are already loud enough. Plus, if you don't even have a headset, you can still hear footsteps pretty well. It's just, uh, headset helps a lot. Anyways, that was the spot right there. I'll show you why it's good in just a second. I don't get that many kills on that side just because they're tryhards, but when we do switch sides, I get quite a bit of kills and maybe even a chem strike if you want to stick around and watch to see. Um, anyways, so I'm going back to the spot. It does take me a while to get there. Uh, this team, I don't know. They're just annoying. I could have waited and got a better game, but why not just put this one? Who cares? It's pretty good anyways. I mean, it's not that bad. Anyways, once you get to that spot, all you do is you step out for a minute, kill as many people as you can. You can go back into the club. They spawn at, what I know, three spots over there. One, they spawn inside the club, and usually they don't come back to kill you. Two, they spawn on the other side of that bus right there. Or they'll spawn in the alleyway back behind that truck. Now, Amplify is awesome at this spot because you can come out. Look, see, he spawned in this strip club. I go kill him. I come back. Just listen for people. They spawn in this alleyway. Poke your head out. Look just to make sure. Come back and just chill. Look in the strip club. Just go back and forth, constantly watching your back. They'll spawn from everywhere. And most of the time, they don't pay attention to you because... I mean, they're trying to get the objective, they're trying to run across the map, so they really don't come back and bother you too much, other than the times that they spawn and you might run into them. But a lot of the time you're killing them from behind, or you're killing them when they don't notice. Dead Silence is also good to have, I always use Dead Silence whenever I play. I don't know how that guy got me, I'm pretty sure they brought Commando back because that dude lunged at me from far as hell. Anyways, um... The second part of this video is a lot better because I do get all my kills then. I mean, I got quite a bit here. I do start my streak uh, for the winning kill and everything. Um, uh, I think I get my scavenger, my second perk. Um, at the end of this video, I do use my teammate right here. He takes one for me. Boom. I am playing with my friends right now. Uh, I think there's three of them, three or four maybe. Uh, I'm playing with Zones Mert, my good buddy. I play with him all the time. Uh, his buddy Mert. I play with him all the time, also a good friend of mine. Um, and Crazy Legs, they I've known Crazy Legs for a little bit. And Fatal Ninja, I'm pretty sure Fatal Ninja is in here. We met Fatal Ninja a while back on Black Ops 2. These are all friends from Black Ops 2. Um, but anyways, yeah. So this is coming to the end of the first half. I'm just kind of chilling out here. That was skill right there, how I killed him through the floor. Yep, total skill. I'm a boss. Um, I get the winning kill here in a second, and it's pretty amazing. I run out of bullets right here. I pretty much shit my pants because I'm totally sure that that guy's going to come kill me until I realize that my teammate just killed him, so I'm going to pick up this random weapon. Now, I'm not sure. I didn't really read what it was, but it's a single shot, and I just shot it right there to make sure it was a single shot. And this is a pretty nasty final kill, but still, it's all right. Don't judge me too hard. Anyways, get the final kill there. Coming up to the second part of this video, I'm going to show you the second spot. Now, this spot's a lot better depending on who you're playing against. If you're a close quarters kind of person, um, this is a lot closer. So, the spot I'm going to show you is it's kind of right here and right here. It's kind of a mixture of both of these spots because 
you just run back and forth just like you did over there at the strip club. I guess this one you have to be more of aware because there's a lot more openings, a lot more doors. Uh, Amplify is really good to have. I'm pretty sure you'd need it just to hear where people are coming from. Now on this spot, uh, I think they'll notice you a lot more because you're in their whole junk and you are in between both uh, points, blitz points, I don't know if you call them. And you are in between both of them, not like the strip club where you're kind of off into the side. You are in the middle. This is where they spawn. This is where they come out. So you always have to be aware of your surroundings. Um, but mainly you're just going to watch whatever side your teammate teammates aren't. Like my teammates are over by their blitz point right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run back over here by this 18-wheeler uh, and kind of camp. Kind of, I don't know, like rush camp over there. I'm going to call it rush camping. Uh, I kind of hear a person over here, so I'm just going to wait for him, kill him. And you just run back and forth. I got my specialist bonus already. Uh, just always being around where your surroundings. They do spawn over here, and they spawn on the outside to the right by that 18-wheeler over there by the diner. So just constantly going back and forth. And you can use this for whatever you want. I use it to uh, you know, try and get chem strikes because, I mean, I'm, it's the cool thing. Everybody wanted to get a Moab back in Modern Warfare 3 and everything. So, right now I'm kind of in a chem strike phase. I want to get all the chem strikes. I want to just show everybody how you get them. I've only gotten like six though, so I'm pretty terrible. Um, yeah, as you can tell, the headset is very, very helpful. And amplifying dead silence are kind of my go-to perks. I use them for everything. But as long as you stay in these general areas, you should be fine. I kind of chase this guy right here, and it is a big mistake because I die on my 21st kill. I was four away from the chem strike, which kind of made me angry, but it was my own fault because I did chase that guy when I could have just stayed in my little area. And look, right there, I would have already been at, what, 23? Um, two more till the chem strike. Here's 24. And then go back to my spot. And even that was kind of pushing it because I was running away from it. Come back to where I need to be. Uh, get an assist right here. Kind of get scared of him. And if I was to stay alive, the 25th kill would be right there. I would have had it had I stayed on my game plan and not deviated from it. But that's okay. I mean, you know, there's always another game. I hope this strategy of mine has helped you. And I hope you use it and get a lot of kill streaks or chem strikes. Whatever you're into. Um, but that's all I have for you today. I guess you can just continue to watch me play. It just kind of dies out. I die a little bit more. Like after I get all these streaks right here. I get killed once and then I just keep dying. Because I don't know. I guess I was off my game. But I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And stay tuned for more videos.